You know, trying to get the most out of your hard-earned dollar is something that is harder and harder to do in this day and age. But when it comes to side-by-sides, the Honda Pioneer 1005 Trail Edition might just be at the top of the list of value for money. Featuring the 1000cc parallel twin found in the Talon and the popular Africa Twin Adventure bike, this side-by-side -side pulls double duty work and play better than any other that I know. Because it's not just its ability to ride well on the trail after a hard day's work, it's the incredible ability to not sacrifice any box space for that work, and then magically add two extra seats for a total of five in a package that's not much bigger than its two-seat competition. And that to me is something incredibly unique to the side-by-side -side world. And yes, Yamaha does have the R-Max 4, but those rear seats slide forwards, they don't disappear, and it does take up quite a bit of cargo box space, as well as losing the tilting feature. The engineers at Honda took a long time and no doubt a very significant investment to make sure that the rear seats completely disappear. It's really quite remarkable that from just a few feet away, not only can't you notice the seats, but you can hardly notice that there's rear doors. But then take the engineering to a whole new level, the rear cargo box actually still tilts to unload. I'm still trying to figure out the mechanics of it. And in this form, the Pioneer 5 Trail is ready to work with whatever tasks you need it to. For me, it's just about any number of tasks around the ranch that have to get done. Might be tending to the apple trees or hauling the prunings down to the chipping pile with all the associated tools I've needed for the job. Need to haul something? The included two inch receiver is ready to tow up to 2,500 pounds and serves its purpose well when I toss the bush buggy to fill up the makeshift greenhouse water reservoir. When we opt for the trail edition, which is the highest end package, we get ourselves premium plastics and graphics, cool 14 inch silver accented aluminum rims, a 4,500 pound worn winch, and the Fox QS3 shocks all the way around. It also gives us I four wheel drive, which removes the need for a differential lock and senses when a wheel spins and sends power to those wheels automatically. And when I'm loaded up, I know that the six speed gear on gear transmission is ready for the task with the dual clutch transmission that can be left in automatic or shifted manually with pretty cool paddle shifters. And when it comes to the six speed transmission and hey, that shift- Sorry. Yeah. sorry. Yeah. Are you, uh, you are in the middle of something. I'm I apologize. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, <laughs> I was just wondering, you said that this could fit our whole family. The girls are ready to go, is it? Okay. Um, okay, if we steal that, no, okay. Uh, it, no. Yeah, it can. Okay. Um, well, seeing as you're interrupting my test ride, why don't you just come along for it and I'm gonna let you drive. I love that idea. As you know, I've never had a hard time sharing my opinion with you. No, that is true. You haven't, uh, you haven't had a problem being opinionated. I'll take those, thanks okay. so much. All right. What do you think of it? Honestly, it feels really smooth. It almost feels like a truck, like the feeling of it shifting. Well, you're actually like pretty spot on because a lot of other ATVs and side-by-sides, they have CVTs and belts that take power from the engine to the wheels, but Honda uses an actual automotive-like transmission with dual clutches that shifts gears, but it kind of does it all seamlessly and on its own. Now, if you want, you can use the paddle shifters on the steering wheel in manual mode and actually shift it, but you don't need to worry about a clutch. It does that for you. Oh, that's interesting. On some of the other side-by-sides that I've driven, I have to use the diff lock to change the four-wheel drive. Do I have to on this one? Uh, nope, on this one, because it's the trail edition and it's an upgrade from the deluxe version of the Pioneer 5, it gets something called I four wheel drive, which actually automatically sends power to the wheels that it needs. So it's pretty much like an automatic diff lock. So you don't have to worry about flipping that switch like we do on some of the other side by sides. I'll get out. It's crazy. Truth be told, I tell you, I could feel it, but it just goes wherever I want, even up this sand. Yeah, that's the beauty of the I four wheel drive. You don't even have to think about it. It just does what you want it to do. It's pretty sweet. I like these paddle shifters too. I, I think it's pretty neat. But to be honest, I'd probably just leave it and let it change for me. Yeah, and you know what? Like, that's probably where most people are gonna have it 99% of the time. But Honda gives you the option if you wanna keep it in a certain gear for utility work, or if you're just looking to have some fun and you know, you wanna go out and paddle shift. But I agree, most people are probably gonna leave it in automatic like 99% of the time. What do you guys think? I like it. Okay, Lynn, so 
you interrupted my test ride and you had a chance to do your own little test ride of the new Honda Pioneer 5 Trail Edition. Um, what, like, what kind of things seem special to you about it? Like, what do you like? I think, like, for our life, I like how compact it is. I like the size sometimes. You bring home other side-by-sides that are really big, and that's fine, depending on what we use it for. But just for around the house, doing stuff with the greenhouse and yard work, I like the size of this better. Just feels, I feel more comfortable in it. And the other thing that I think is worthwhile to mention is that I love that it's universal. Like I can use it for yard work. And then like when I first saw it, I didn't even realize that you could flip the seats up and there was room for the girls until you told me that. So I love that option. You know, we could be working around the house, using it for all the things we need and then go for a ride with the girls in the afternoon. Just flip up the seat and we're good to go. Like you're totally right. It's, it's really unique. It's a unique way to work and play. I mean, I would like to see some kind of a rear cargo bed liner or mat that would keep dirt or stones yeah. from getting into the seats and mechanisms, but that's not that big of a deal. And I do believe that Honda actually sells one of those, but this thing takes up less garage space, doesn't need as big of a trailer if we want to take it with us. And with the trail edition, we get the sportiness of Fox QS3 shocks. So when we do play, it's ready for whatever we throw at it. And I mean, I know QS3 shocks don't necessarily mean anything to you, but it's got better suspension is what it means. So that's pretty cool too. Well, that's a good point. You know, oddly enough, I do drive a Honda SUV already. So I'm thinking maybe there's room in our family for one of these bad boys. Oh, really? Is that what you think, <laughs> eh? Well, I'll tell you what, I actually do like it quite a bit. That means yes. <laughs>